Good day, tongue tie team talkers. I'm at Silent and we're on the air with more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. It's episode 39 of The Sith Lords. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, we hung out on the Ebon Hawk, had a chat with everyone, and now this time out, actually, I got a few tips from uh, a couple episodes ago. So, we're going to follow up on that very quickly. First off, the handmaiden, who apparently when you ask her to put on clothes, it only works when you have clothes on yourself. So let's see how this tip from Mr. Hughes works. Yes? Uh, do you think you could put some clothes on? I fail to understand the problem. I had heard the Corward systems had customs concerning modesty, but when training, such customs are not practical or efficient. Well, I guess we want to go with I disagree. In fact, if you don't train while encumbered, you are crippling yourself. I can see the point. You're not going to be doing actual fighting without some sort of armor or some such. So I can see the point of that. I can see no fault in your reasoning. I do have bulkier clothes. Will this do? I was, I was going to joke, yeah, it's like she's going to wear a parka. Eh, it's pretty close, actually. Those look like Jedi robes. No, they're far too nice to be any Jedi robes that we know. They're all wearing, they aren't wearing that just, like, plain brown that we expect a Jedi. Well, I guess Anakin wore black, but everyone else was kind of, you know, generally wore brown. They suffice for training purposes. They belong to my mother. They belong to your mother? Who was she? She was the one my father followed to war. She was a Jedi. These are her robes. I have not worn them since they came into my possession. They are the only thing of her that I possess. I'm actually surprised that I passed an influence check with her. Because I wasn't sure... Like, the game... I don't think the game tells you how you sit on the influence... You know, influence with her. And it's not like Mass Effect where, you know, it's like... Loyalty was an on-off switch sort of thing, right? This, it doesn't... I, I'd imagine this, there's some sort of bar as opposed to a switch. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. No, that doesn't sound like something I would say. Do you miss her? Sometimes the best part of the Jedi is the robes. At least they serve a purpose. Whenever your feelings are concerning her, suppress them. She is gone. Let's go with, do you miss her? I never knew her. There is no absence of presence when there was nothing there to begin with. I miss only that I never knew her at all, and what it was about her that caused my father to follow her to war. That almost sounds like a shot across the bow of Return of the Jedi. <laughs> Sometimes, I, no, it might not necessarily be, because I, yeah, because Revenge of the Sith came out the next year. This came out in 2004, Revenge of the Sith came out in 2005. So, unless somebody at Obsidian had, like, an advanced copy of the script... They wouldn't have known that the whole thing of Six is, you know, she died when I was very young. It was implied not to mean, you know, like minutes or seconds like it did in Jedi. So, anyway. Uh, oh, there's no follow-up to that. Oh, okay. Let's go for now. She's got, she's got clothes on, but we didn't get any influence gained or lost or anything like that. And I know a lot of you guys were talking about chatting with Atten. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that whatever I did in the last episode might not have been what the guys who've played this game a lot, what you guys were hoping for. So let's see if we can't after, after our visit with Cray, if we can't get a little more out of that in this time. Something up? Let's see. Now, I don't want to get too direct. Let's play a game of Pazak, yeah. Sounds good to me. I'll deal. And I'm hoping... Yeah, I like that side deck. I'm hoping that... Okay, we've got a lot of minuses on this one. A couple pluses, well, the flip, but... I'm hoping that whatever we do here... Is... Ooh, nice hand. Whatever we do here is going to help us... Kind of get into Atten's head, or at least kind of... Ease us into a conversation... We're uh, both down two of our side deck. Hopefully this kind of helps us get into Atten's head or 
figure out a little more about Etten. Isis is in there without sounding too suspicious, because he is a little suspicious of us. If we've been needling him kind of hard about his past. We'll uh, just... Oh, that was ugly. Of all the times to draw another 10. Couldn't have gotten a natural Pazak, but... Or not... Sub yeah, Pazak. I was thinking, no, that's Sabak I'm thinking of. No, no, no. Sabak's place 23. I remember that much. Oh, that was his first win. All right. Now, it's also the question of whether winning or losing makes a difference, right? We'll take that one. We're not looking too bad here. Luck is turning around when it comes to Pazak. As he gets down to him. Like, at this rate, I might have a better chance just filling up the damn board than anything. Now one more, what the hell? Can we do that one? What the hell? Let's see if we can draw anything less than a. If we can draw six or lower, we can win this one. Solely on filling up the board. You want to give it a try? What the hell? Ah! <laughs> I said a six or lower, and it draws me the one seven. Ah! I gotta learn how to count cards in the damn game. It was a valiant effort. You know, it's tenant rules. Like, I mean, honestly, who cares? Now we can... Uh, again, we're in the same... Sp okay, no, this time, a 7 or lower. Not a 6 or lower, but a 7 or lower. Oh, he busted out me one. And he's going to sit down. Alright, no, no. Something up? Uh, let's just get a little more direct. Playing Pizak in your head again. Passes the time. It's better than listing off engine sequencers, memorizing hyperspace routes, or counting ticks in the power couplings. And that doesn't answer my question, but you do all those things. Uh, there are no ticks in the power company. It's fixed. Forget I had other questions. No, no, no. I don't like three, four, or five. But you do all those things. Silent looks at player frowns. Why do I play Pazak? All right, I'll show you. And don't want to play Pazak? Oh, yes, I do. Look, I don't have the cards. Oh, uh, credits, sorry. I don't care. I'll be able to lose money here. If it's a friendly game, sure. Don't care. Let's play. Do it. Take a seat, everyone. Is it going to play for me, or... Maybe it is. Oh, no, it'll let me, uh, it'll let me play him. All right. Let's go. That's a uh, ugly hand. Pluses, except for the flip, so... We'll have to see how that works. You could just... We could throw the four down right away. See what happens. Okay, tie. Not bad. He's gonna go to 19, so we're gonna just see what we can get. Play that win. Alright, not bad start. We're both on the same number of cards in the side deck. I've got one win ahead. And let's stick on the 18, see what happens. Force him to use a card, though. I like using that strategy. You give him fewer options. If you take advantage, and some of it is the luck of the draw. 24, and we'll take that one. So we're up two with an extra card, or up one with an extra card in hand in the side deck. He busts out, and there we go. Okay, so either he has bad luck or we're supposed to win this one. Good match. Now, what are you thinking about right now? Hmm. Let's see. Well, Pazak, of course, the game. I was trying to compute the totals to 20. I was thinking about why I was playing this stupid game. Wondering if you had a skifter up your sleeve. Now, I know they haven't had the scripts to recent Star Wars movies hanging around at Obsidian at this point in time, even if Lawrence Kasdan wrote it. But, uh, let's go with, uh, I was trying to compute the totals to 20. Right. And that's why I play Pazak in my head. Because if you don't, you've left the door open, and anyone could walk right in. I don't under... Uh, Anton, before I felt your mind, with Kreia's help, I'm sorry. 
Would you play Pazak? You play Pazak to shield your thoughts. What do you have to hide? Nothing. Never mind. Okay. So Atten is shielding his thoughts by counting Pazak cards? That's a Pazak, sorry, sorry. Uh, Pazak cards? No, I play Pazak in my head. But while I'm doing that, it's a lot harder for someone to walk in. I'm not sure I... And can, can you teach me to shield my thoughts? Is there something you could train me to do? Is that something you could train me to do? No, I can only teach you to play Pazak. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're using code? For some inexplicable reason? Alright, then I want to learn to play Pazak? Good. Now you understand. Alright, I'll deal then. If you're ever fighting someone who has the power over your mind, whether light or dark, play Pazak. Start listing hyperspace routes, recite engine sequencers, and when they try to use their powers on you, suddenly it's not as easy as they thought. Jedi do it all the time. And when they walk in the dark places of your mind, they'll use it to hold you by the throat. That got aggressive at the end. Jedi do it all the time, and when they walk in the dark places of your mind, they'll use it to hold you by the throat. We know he has no love for the Jedi, but the fact that he kind of singles out the Jedi there... He really has it in for the Jedi. There's something that we could needle him about at some point in time for sure. Atten has taught you to play Pazak in your head as a way of resisting mental domination. You've gained a permanent plus one to your willpower saves. All right. That sounds good. Items... What, what items did I lose? All right. I just realized... I'm going the wrong way. One... I just realized I want to run back to the workbench really fast. Because... I have a lightsaber somewhere. Where the hell did my lightsaber go? What, did I lose my lightsaber? Was that... Where the hell did my lightsaber go? Which one of these is mine? That one, I think? The... No, yeah, that, that one is mine. Because, uh... Violet Crystal, and it had that, uh... Yeah, the Apilla. And I know I put a, uh... Which one did I put on? The improved deflection emitter. Okay, I know I put an emitter on there. So, yeah, yeah, no, that, that has to be, uh... That one has to be mine. I wonder why it would... I wonder why it would take the lightsaber off me there in that sequence. It doesn't seem to make any damn sense. I mean, it is what it is, right? Uh, since we're here, can we have a chat with you? Can we, you know, heard inside your mind, maybe? Yes, General. Ah, uh, any shields now? Sorry, General, I'm flat. Something else I can... Yeah, it was worth a shot. So whatever was happening in his head, we couldn't follow up on, so... We'll head on out! I'm gonna bring Visus with us this time. Level 6 Jedi Sentinel. Completely dark side. Alright, and since we've got her, she'll probably play more of a melee... Style attack. That'll probably... Takes out the Handmaiden. And... Oh, everyone's in their sort of base outfits in these, aren't they? Because you can see the Handmaiden's wearing a different clothes now than she was is here. Uh, yeah, let's bring HK along. Either Atten or HK, but I'm thinking we've already had Atten. Well, we've had HK along for a lot of this, too. Uh, bring HK. Nice to have a... <laughs> nice to have him along every now and then, too. Nice dark side team assemble. Let's go. Now it auto saved there coming off of there, so I'm wondering. We just got this message on the comm link. Looks like trouble. I think this is something everyone will want to hear. I agree. Let's return to the ship then. The droid's the one who picked up the message. He's got it all ready to display. 
Welcome, Hinmeard on Crusher. I regret this message has taken so long in reaching you, but I only recently became aware of your presence on Nar Shada. I am Visquis, a representative of an exchange of shipping interests here on Smuggler's Moon. I'm extending an invitation to you to join me in my private lounge within the Jack Jack Tar where we may speak without being disturbed. I wish to discuss something of mutual interest concerning your past profession and prospects for the future. Oh, and do come alone. One human in my presence is more than enough. Racist Quarren. Well, good thing it's not a trap. What are you talking about? It's obviously a trap. Could you please lighten up for one second? It may be a trap, but traps work both ways. This Visquis, his kind is spread through the lower reaches of Narshadar, and he may have information, but the choice is yours. If you go, you will have to go alone. Well, I know where the Jack Jack Tar is, but what if I ask that question? I mean, the, I, I'm going to go see him. Ah, yeah, where's the Jack Jack Tar? It's just off the docks, near one of the far traffic pylons. He's got you at a disadvantage there, though. The place is filled with cyanogen gas. One whiff of that, and it'll be the last breath you take. You'll need something to allow you to breathe there, and disguise you from the other patrons. Good thing. Good thing I have the uh, the spacesuit from Paragus. Then, ask me from the other patrons why. Now, if it's cyanogen gas, I'll need to wear a spacesuit. It attacks the skin and the lungs. Okay, let's. Okay, let's. Can't I wear gas? Let's use the tree to injury one then. Yeah. You're right. Without breathing and skin protection, you'll be dead in seconds. Besides, you'll need a full body suit if you want to remain disguised. Like I said, a human walking around in there isn't going to get a warm reception. No droids, either. There's a lot of electromagnetic activity in the area. Screws with comlinks and behavior cores. Don't be surprised if your auto map starts showing static, either. Well, we know that they're kind of hostile to humans. Uh, I don't remember keeping the spacesuit from Paragus, but apparently I did. And I guess I'm off to meet the exchange, then. Well, I wouldn't keep him waiting. If you got his attention, you probably attracted the attention of someone else. Has there been any news from the scout? Like our uh, Duros friends here. Last I heard that the Jedi was back on that piece of junk they call a ship. Keeps going back and forth. Very tiring to watch. That is very frustrating. We Zugs are big time bounty hunters. Very important. Very famous. But then the target comes to us for collection. Then we can do nothing except sit and wait. I feel as if I'm back on the Labor Commission on Duros. It is one of the reasons we've started affecting policy change with our blasters. The scout has reported back with very strange news. The exchange has arranged a meeting with the Jedi. I do not understand why they would do that. I thought they wanted to watch him. See if the Jedi could attract other Jedi. Perhaps the Jedi caused so much trouble, Gato got tired of it. Get tired of it. No, no grammar. Maybe they find other Jedi. No, it is obvious what Gotto intends to do. Gotto intended to hire us to drive the Jedi to Nar Shada. Ah, crap, it is a trap. Now that the Jedi is here, Gotto doesn't need to pay us anymore. He will try to capture the Jedi himself. But we cannot attack the Jedi. Gotto would put bounties on all our heads. So, oh, then we will take the Jedi's companions and the sh Jedi's ship hostage. Well, we've walked into a trap, and the gang's all staying on the ship. Well, that's not good. I mean, I guess we knew we were going it alone. Now, does the space suit... Unless that is something... Did I sell the space suit and just don't remember it? Unless it's something that's going to be contextual or something like that. I don't quite remember. Pick up some bits and bobs. We still have to find an ID card for... Uh, our friend TN Tub there. Or whatever the hell his name is. Uh, not you. We want to find... Gita... No, it's not highlighted. Shoot. That's eh, not a problem. I'll find her somewhere. 
Rodian friends around here somewhere. Actually, hang on a second. Since we're hanging around. Just turn up the pace. Ah, she's over there. A far corner. Of course. Since we can, perhaps, get some quests for her to get her inventory expanded. When your path returns to you here, I am thankful. How may I assist you today? Let's see what you have. Well. It's not so much this that I'm interested in. Eh, we've already got a better damage crystal. I'm just wondering. Maybe I'm just not picking the right sequences. If we... Yeah, because we've done these conversations before. I'm just not seeing anything... ...new out of here. Unless we go back to this one. Yeah. Nothing new coming out of her there. So, what we want to do is head to the docks. I think this is the docks this way. Back to the map. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, that's the docks. It's interesting they say, you know, oh, you're... You know, skin will... I'm, most, I'm mostly covered. But, oh, yeah, it'll damage your skin and... Didn't have that problem last time. Oh. Uh-oh. Atten's come. Hey, look. I wanted to tell you. Be careful. I won't be able to contact you via the comm link if something happens. And I'm betting that Squidhead knows it. I'll be careful, don't worry. I'll appreciate the Atten. Uh, appreciate the warning, Atten. That's all right. I'll... If you didn't know better, you'd swear I was dyslexic or something. You didn't just follow me out here to warn me of just of that. Uh, just say that and I go get dyslexic again. Uh, would you leave me alone? Just leave me alone. I know what to do. Look, relax. I can handle this. I, I, I appreciate the warning. I'll be careful. No, I'll be careful. Atten, thanks. Look, take these. They're antidote packs. If your suit gets breached, you'll need to inject them fast if you don't want your lungs to seize up. And trust me, once the seizures start, you'll be dead. No, that's, yeah, that's comforting. Thanks. Watch yourself, and don't be too long. I'll keep an eye out here until you return. And I know just the place. Oh, it'll run me straight into the, into the dock, sorry. So where's this place at and it's gonna hang out? I mean, there's a few hangouts around here, but... I always do that shoulder check, just in case. I think it's one of those habits I pick, I've picked up from shooters, right? Let's just do that little... Just make sure that there's nobody about to ambush us or ting, right? Jedi! You come to this moon to hunt? If so, Hanar can help. Maybe you've come hunting for another Jedi. It's a long time since the Great War to be without one's tribe. Hanar knows where the Jedi is, but no one else can tell you. Jedi spelt like that if... Memory serves is very, very old. I, I, I do know that Jedi used to be spelled with an AI. Like, I, I mean, not, not like in terms of like Star Wars itself, but sort of in the canon of Star Wars. Like talking back to the very beginnings of the Jedi Order, something in like the neighborhood of. I think I talked about it uh, recently, and I think Pingu was read the book. And I don't remember how long ago. It was like 25-ish thousand years before the Battle of Yavin. Something ridiculous like that. And I think it was like... Jedi was J-E apostrophe D-A-I. I think that was how it's spelt. I think. I could be wrong. But that that's sort of... You're talking about like a piece of Star Wars mythos that I'm not even sure George really had too much interest in. But, uh, so, uh, where is this Jedi and why do you want to help me? Two very interesting questions for our friend Hanhar here. Uh, so why do you want to help me? You are Jedi. You wander galaxy alone, cast out, exiled. He knows a lot about me. And like Hanhar, the Jedi wishes to find Gato. Perhaps ask Gato why he put so many credits on your head and those of your tribe. Gato only appears as life and voice, and Hanhar wishes to meet him in the flesh, like Jedi does. I know you're going to meet Visquis. And you know that Viscus will try to capture you and sell you to Gato. Let's see. Uh, how do you know about my meeting with Visquis? I can handle this on my own. I don't need help from some animal. 
If he's offering to help me, I'm sure as hell not going to piss him off, especially when he's got two swords pointed at me. And how do you know about my meeting with Visquiz? Everyone knows Visquiz sent a, broad a broadcom message to Jedi's vessel, which was caught by all the right receivers. Oh, shit. And if I know, then now everyone knows. Okay, let's follow this through and see what help I can get from my Wookiee friend. You are strong. I can smell the blood on your hands and hear the many dead that scream silently behind you. Okay. <laughs> but Fisk was to make Aaron contacting Jedi. He is trying to cheat all other hunters by robbing us of prey and capturing you himself. Now I have a plan. Continue to the Jack Jack Tar. I will go ahead. I will get close to Fisquiz. Then we will strike a new di deal for you, for me, for Jedi. And one of the bounty hunters. And so you intend to cheat Fisquiz as Fisquiz cheated you. And if your betrayal will get close enough, get me close enough to kill him, I will make use of you for now. All right. What of the other bounty hunters? Gato gave us all an order not to harm Jedi, but there's nothing more dangerous than tribe. Oh, I missed it. We can attack you, then others of your tribe came to this moon, your brothers and sisters. Your friends will become prey in your place. Well, this sure beats staying on the ship. A few drinks to keep me on my toes, a few games of Pazak to keep the mind alert. Should be enough to keep me out of trouble until our fearless leader straightens things out. Well, hello there. But this is trouble. Give me a hit of Juma and keep him coming. Well, looks like staying on the ship was a bad idea after all. That's what I love about Nar Shadda, the company. So, I don't think I caught your names. Uh, you two work here? Or? Yeah, we are dancers, yes. <laughs> Slaves once, now no more. Yeah? What happened to your master? He was made deceased. We serve no one but ourselves. Anyone sense trap? And you, of course. Tell us, why have you come to the smuggler's moon? Perhaps you are looking for something, perhaps us? Oh yeah, this is this is going to end badly. No, I'm here protecting someone, keeping them out of trouble, by acting as a distraction for people looking to harm him. Harm him? Ah, you think we are assassins, yes? We are not assassins. Assassins kill for money. That is not what we do. We only wish the exiles submit, or else we shall kill you and find other bait. Well, shit. This has gone bad. This is a trap. It's a trap. Why don't you two shut us try it and we'll see what happens. Oh, that's how you say shut us. Okay. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's been too long since we have killed. Ah, oh, sh oh, shit. Okay. Everybody panic. All right, everyone panic. All right, so. Ah, son of a. So defense bonus three and dexterity bonus five. This is defense bonus eight, dexterity bonus three. All right. So it was what, eight and three. So it's six and four, seven and three. Resist Sonic, eh, Sith battle suit, maybe. Eight and two. So I've, I think I've got the best armor on Atten at the moment. And we don't need the stealth field generator right now. What we need... Oh, they've got swords too. Shoot. We don't need stealth or dexterity, but we could use the defense bonus. We don't need reflexes. We could use, like, anything that could do defense or... I mean, reflex of dexterity. That'll help. Exchange work gloves. And no, none of these are gonna... We have an energy shield, but what we need is a melee shield. 
So, oh, and I need to put a, I need to give him a gun too. That's all he's got is the Trandoshan sword, which I don't think that's particularly great. This is, all the saving throws aren't in the world aren't going to help him either. There's no way to filter this down by, um, we can't use uh, that because you have to be a Jedi. Oh, weapon proficiency lightsaber, which I don't have either. All right, so we've got to find a decent blaster in here as well. I thought we had equipped at and with a blaster. An Arcani blaster rifle. Looks okay. Repeating blaster carbine. It's got a higher peak, a slightly lower floor. Attack modifier one. Mm, could could be worth. All right, that gets, brings us back up to the top. So it's either the repeating carbine or the Arcanian blaster rifle. Let's go with the blaster rifle. Now. Not sure what the hell we're going to get into. But I get the distinct feeling I should have bought some... Should have bought some shit from people. Oh, of course they... Of course they have shields on. Are they doing a screech? Oh, son of a... Bitch. We're going to do the old... The old tried and true. Of running for my life. That didn't really... It's not really worked, has it? We can glitch one of them. Hi, can I, can I use a choke... I was actually planning on using a choke point here. But that seems to have glitched them out ever so slightly. So we're just gonna... Are you just trying... Are you just bouncing stuff off of their shields until such time as we can get through it, or...? It's just bouncing back! I don't think there's... All that is just, well... Now, now, just out of curiosity, since we're sitting here... Now... Can I get to show me how much health I have, or...? It's just being difficult... The tool tips are being... Oh, there. Uh, 55. That's it. It's just gonna not tick up. Oh, 56. Very slowly ticks up when you're in combat. At least we got good battle music. Oh, there. Their shields are utterly impenetrable. But it looks like running away like a goddamn coward is once again the optimal solution. But I definitely did not build Atten for a, you know, 1v2 close quarters combat bat. Oh, you've got that. Well, that's just dickish. I assume she has a finite number. If Atten was a little... I mean, actually, what am I doing? There we go. Just gonna say for... If the... If... We've glitched them out ever so slightly, then we don't have to worry about. Also, I just realized there's some Duros hanging around back there. Now, my question is, is... I know that there's a, what, 200... Oh, there it goes. A 200-second-ish timer. On these... Th on the uh, shields. Most shields, anyway. So I wonder if on the first Twin Sun... That we timed it out. I don't think we timed it out. We didn't time out. I, we might have timed out this one, but that one we beat down. And this one we might have actually timed out. We'll just let her uh, use her complement of. Oh, she got three, excuse me. Meanwhile, Atten had better aim over here than he did. Are you just missing entirely? She's right in front of you, son. 
This is why everyone was warning me about Dara. Well, that's it. The bounty hunter truce is off. That means this place is going to get real bad, real fast. I better get back to the ship. Warn the others. I don't know why a Jedi would come here. There's so much noise on this moon. Of course, it makes detecting a Jedi difficult. But to be in a place where one drowns in the Force, why would a Jedi wish that? A simple question, to which I ask another. Why should a Jedi want to hide? Hey, we need to move out. What are you talking about? What is wrong? The truce between the bounty hunters in Nar Shadda is off. There's gonna be a war. A trap in the Jek Jek Tar is bad enough, but having a hundred bounty hunters on your back is something else. He was told to meet alone. We cannot disrupt their meeting until the alien reveals the information he has. Look, we need to move. They're coming after us, not the Exile. If they are coming after us, then they will be after him as well. We need to go rescue him. Not see the yeah, Duros? Right. But I'm guessing we're in a lot more trouble than he is. Oh yeah. They've just been hanging out there for the last... Ah, uh, look, refugees here on the landing pad. Are you lost? Well, perhaps you have lost your criminal Jedi exile leader. Perhaps that is more likely. Yes, very. I am Azanti Zug, leader of the Zugs. Very powerful, very skilled hunters. It would be very smart of you to tell me where the criminal Jedi is gone. And do speak very quick. My patience is very low. Okay, there's like... Anybody here catch that? All I understood was very. I think he wanted us to give up the general to his poorly trained collection of bounty hunters. Ah, well, that would explain it. Which one do you want? I'll take the stupid one, who decided to threaten us rather than shoot us when he had the chance. Should we get to do that sequence, or...? No, okay. Uh, so we're all oh, right in front of the Jek Jek Tar. I think... That, uh... Man, part of me wants to just go back and see what happens. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, you know what, let it play out. But that should be interesting to see how it plays out. Now, Hanhar went ahead, yes? Uh, does it give us any... Nothing, none, of the, none of it's uh, in here. In looks of it. No. Still got a couple of missions on Telos that we have to look at as well. But one step at a time... I get the feeling that that next sequence in the Jack Jack Tar is going to take a bit, so rather than keep you guys around here forever, I think we're going to call it a day here. We're going to come back next time, and we're going to have a little chat with Visquiz. And probably get shot at. Fortunately, I'm a little better with a lightsaber than they probably are with a... Uh, actually, with that thought in mind, maybe... Ah, no, that one. Yeah, let's 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 do that one. I, I just have a feeling. I have a bad feeling about this. All right, next time we'll go inside, have a chat with Visquiz, chop him in half with a lightsaber. That'll go well, I'm sure. Right. Well, until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on air. That is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget you can check out more KOTOR 2 in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. And more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And we will see you next time.